Social media giants Twitter and Facebook have officially suspended President Trump from using their platforms. This, of course, comes after the violence that took place at the U.S. Capitol. News 13's Brady Wakayama spoke with a UNM professor to learn more about the bans. Brady. Jackie, Professor David Weiss says the news of the social media bans was unprecedented, but believes it was only a matter of time. If we have a sitting president who is alleged to or accused of, of inciting violence, especially violence in the U.S. Capitol and prospective violence to members of the government, including even his own vice president, again, we see this crossing a line that has not been crossed before. Yesterday, Twitter officially announced the at real Donald Trump's account was permanently banned from their platform. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg also posted on Thursday they were suspending the president's account for at least two weeks until there's a peaceful transition of power. Both platforms say their decisions were stemming from the breach at the nation's capital. Weiss says some people have argued it is against the First Amendment for these companies to ban the president. But Weiss says that's not the case, since they are privately owned and are not government entities. As a private company, Twitter is within its rights to cancel anyone's account at any time. Twitter has no obligation to let anyone have an account uh, with them. Right? They're, not, they're not the government. They're a private company. Weiss says Facebook and Twitter have actually given President Trump more leeway than others over the years since he's the president and says they warned him several times about violating their company's policies by putting disclaimers and or removing some of his posts that they deemed were verifiably false. However, Weiss says the president still has many other ways to communicate with the public, whether it's using other social media platforms or simply calling for press conferences. Now we ask people on social media what they think of the recent bans with many split on the matter. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brady. We did reach out to the Republican Party of New Mexico for a comment, but did not hear back.